You're the third guy I send after him. What's the name of the target? Yank these! What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Yankees. And today I got an awesome game on the map, Von Hain Express. Uh, and real quick, before I get into that, if you guys see I'm missing three characters, um, I'm still not sure exactly how you get them. Uh, most likely, uh, well, not most likely, uh, from what I've seen on, on SOCOM forums and different places, they say by ranking up, uh, nobody's really a high enough level to s uh, basically clarify if you do um, unlock characters. I myself, I play a lot and I'm level uh, 25 today I actually reached, so I'm not sure if uh, by higher, a higher rank you unlock more characters, so I guess I just gotta wait and find out, and if I do, I will relay the information to you. Um, Von Hain Express. Uh, this is by far one of my favorite maps. Uh, the reason is because it's the one that has the best and most clearest uh, lines of sight uh, in the whole game. Um, it's a clean map, uh, like I said, with long lines of sight. Um, and basically the advantage in this map, I would have to say, goes to the Insurgents. Um, because the Insurgents have more defensive positions uh, that basically defend... Uh, their front line um, against the enemies and basically cuts them off from different angles. Um, what I'm doing here is basically trying to flank the right side of their spawn. And if they don't watch, like if you're insurgent and you don't watch this side, you have someone like me or multiple people, not only one person, but you have maybe four or five people flank that side. Now, if they happen to get this right side, you're absolutely done because uh, they'll either take this bunker right here or they'll take the rock and I call it the rock because you're gonna see how much damage I do sitting on that rock um, it's a little it's coming up a little later on but right here if they hold this area right here and they hold a little more to my left um, it's basically doomsday because every time you guys spawn and head down this area they're just gonna continue to pick you up and there's so much cover behind rocks that they're just gonna corner camp and for you guys that don't know corner camping is basically hugging a wall and looking around the corner and as soon as you get close enough uh, They'll usually pull out an SMG and just light you up um, as uh, as you're walking by them. It's um, I'm not gonna say it's a cheap method. I use it a lot, and it's a really um, a really good method. And if you're running around corners uh, without looking your areas, then uh, you deserve it. And here I actually get five in a row and get picked off. I, I honestly wore out my welcome, and I held that area way too long. And honestly, if you get kills um, and you don't have an unsilenced weapon, shoot and move. Don't stay in the same area because you will be called out. Um, and also, when you shoot an unsilenced weapon in an enemy spawn or an enemy area, you have a little, uh, basically a diamond that pops up on the top of your head for like maybe, I don't know, maybe uh, five seconds or less. But it's still enough um, for the enemies to track you down if you're shooting. Um, and also, you pop up on the map. So those are things that you have to keep in mind. And just to avoid it, just keep moving. You shoot, move, shoot, move. But, but if you want to hold down the area, just stay within the area, but just move between cover, cover, but just try not to stay in the same area because they're either going to come back and uh, try to get some revenge. And here is the rock. This is the rock. This is uh, the best defensive position um, if you're uh, Spec Ops to uh, have a great, great advantage against the Insurgent team. And you'll see here that I use this rock uh, from cover to cover, and I'll come down here. There's two levels. There's this bottom level here and then the level that I was at. You move between both levels and you'll be able to have a great, great uh, defense and a great viewpoint of the enemies as they flow. You see here, look, I'm covering the whole right side so they can't really touch the beach. I actually fail here. Let me see. I fail here. I might have fell. Yeah, I totally lost them. Let me see. Uh, yeah, he ends up getting me. But um, um, if those situations don't really come up, uh, what, I, what just happened to me, I fell. I lost the guy. But... If you hold that rock and you move from cover to cover and different levels up and down, uh, moving side to side, you could do so much damage. And honestly, me myself, I've have held out, have held that rock, and cut off the whole enemy team from flanking us. And flanking on this map is really, really important. I personally feel that uh, the team that has um, the flank locked down uh, is the winning team. 
uh, you want to avoid the team from flanking you. And on this map, it's so massive that waves of enemies can get into your spawn and do major damage as you spawn. So just post up, um, move up, get into the middle of the map. Don't hold, don't get too far back because um, if they happen to push up, then it's going to be close to impossible for you to get out of that hole. So you don't, you don't want to dig yourself in a hole. You want to get up in the middle of the map. Or uh, if you can't move up uh, towards the spawn and grab a defensive spot, you're going to quick double kill which is pretty cool and here I'm protecting my uh, flank exactly what I'm doing I'm covering the whole right side and preventing the enemies uh, from flanking my uh, teammates and causing uh, trouble for them and this this part right here is a is a big traffic area but the opposite side is also a major traffic area but not as big as this one since this one is more open a lot of people tend to just you know gravitate to this area because it's more open um, but the other side, uh, there are, it's like uh, in the water there's an abandoned boat and that boat is a major traffic uh, because if people know what they're doing, for instance, me, myself, um, I know this map very well. So you'll, look, I'm, I'm right now I'm going to go through that area. If you go through this area right here, you're kind of hidden, especially if you hug the wall. You see me hugging the wall. Just try to hug the wall so you can avoid the corner camping. But uh, you have a clear, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky flank. See, this whole area right here is a major flank you want to hold. See the abandoned boat? And you can actually go through the boat. You don't have to go in front of the boat here. Um, best bet is to go through the boat to avoid uh, anybody, anybody on the bridge uh, looking at this direction. So it'll, you'll make it a little harder for uh, people to, to pick you up. And right here, if you hold this, if, you, if you're able to move uh, cleanly without any trouble from this area to the opposite area where I was, uh, you'll do a lot of damage. Um, but you want to do it, if you're going to be in the enemy spawn, if you're going to cause havoc, please do it with, an uh, with a silenced weapon. Um, because if not, like I said, you're just going to make your presence uh, very well known and you're just going to get picked off. So, um, yeah. Um, best weapons on this map. I say all the assault rifles. Um, I personally use always a uh, assault rifle primary and a submachine gun secondary. Uh, some submachine guns, uh, like I said, for the corner camping and for the countering the corner campers. Um, in a close quarter situation, the last thing you want to do is hip fire an assault rifle. Um, the hip fire an assault rifle isn't as accurate as a submachine gun, so keep that in mind um, in any map. So uh, you just want to keep in mind that close quarter situation. So. Your best bet is to always have um, an SMG. Now, if you don't move around, uh, if you camp, whatever, um, nobody's he nobody's judging you. You can do whatever you want. Um, whatever suits your game, camp, run around, do you, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you're a laid-back person, then on this map, the sniper is, is uh, a good, good route because um, you could hold the rock. Now, if you're an insurgent and you have the rock, oh, my God, you have a clear, clear view of the enemy uh, spawn. And you just pick them up as they come one by one, one by one, one by one. So the rock works for both sides. Um, and it's a good, good advantage point. Well, I hope I broke down this map as best I could. I got a huge score. Well, not a huge score. I got a good score. And I ended up getting a, a great award, the MVP for that score. And I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of the game. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope this helps. And when you play on this map, think of me. Think of these strategies. And I promise they'll work for you. Uh, as always, my name is Yankees. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so. And as always, until next time, I'm out. Peace! Eliminate the hostile.